Guys, I have a lot of stuff. Guys, I have a lot of stuff. What else I like to have down here is like I'll have my sunscreen down here. This is my soap dispenser. I actually really like it a lot, but the soap that Taylor got me was really cute. So I just left it in its bottle instead of filling this up with it. And I'm just like gonna put this back out when I'm done with that. This I can throw away. It's a thing I picked up from Marshalls or TJ Maxx or something, but it was mint chip natural antioxidant whitening toothpaste and actually wasn't that crazy about it taylor and i both tried it and i'm just gonna chunk it because i think it's been over a year now and it just doesn't leave your teeth actually feeling that clean like it's if you brush your teeth with like cookie dough ice cream other stuff i keep down here in this bigger thing is stuff to clean my brushes so i have like beauty blender cleaner also for all my brushes i use just baby shampoo so I have baby shampoo and then like this kind of cleaner from my beauty blender. And then I also have like ah, the actual beauty blender soap. This stuff is really good. Okay, so I just have this little Bite Beauty makeup bag and it has a little one-sided mirror. I think I'm gonna put this in, in the bottom of my makeup drawer, like my Alex 9 drawer. It's where I like to keep my makeup bags. Okay, this isn't the best bag as you can see. Okay, so I have this and I guess I'll hold on to it, but I don't actually know how old it is and I can't find an expiration date on it, but it's just the Sun Bum cool down gel. So I guess I'll hold on to that and just put it with my sunscreen. And I'm also gonna hold on to this. They're just styling double-sided tape to wear. I'm not perfect. So what goes down here, which is what y'all saw right on the edge, I usually do nails and like face masks. Okay, let's just get like nail stuff together. if I want to keep this. I've had this forever. Oh, I have another set of nail clippers. Wow, I have a lot of nail clippers. So we're going to set this aside for now because I have a feeling I'm not going to be using this, but it was pretty cool, but I've used it to store makeup since I was like 15. What do I want to tackle next? I feel like it's easiest to like put stuff in sections of what they're used for and that way I can see what I have way too much of and I can like dwindle it down. All right guys, so I organized my counters basically by sections of products. So all of this here is for the face and then I broke it into groups based on what it's used for. So we'll start right here with this section. So this is face wash basically. And also what's right here and right against this wall, these are my go-to. They stay on my counter because I use them a ton. So I also need to keep in mind like why these aren't up there, you know, and make sure, you know, that I actually want to keep those things. So basically for this section, so this is face wash. The only one I have up here front and center ready is this pharmacy one. I really, really like this one. Um, it just takes off all my makeup. 
So I do have that one. I'm also like this Glam Glow one, so I will be keeping that. Um, moving into these, these are all basically exfoliators. So this is the Kate Somerville one. I do like this one, we're gonna keep it. This is what I just got from Ulta for my birthday gift, so we'll keep that too. I've only used it once. And then that leaves these. This one's almost gone. I think we'll hold on to it and finish it, but this one I'm gonna get rid of. I actually really, really don't like the smell. It makes your skin feel really soft. And by getting rid of, I'm gonna offer these to other people if it's not expired skincare. Now I'm gonna keep both of these. This is just eye creams. Um, I also have right now my two main ones. So this is my nighttime one is from Juice Beauty. Honestly, this one could be day or night, but I just have it as night because for daytime, I just use this e.l.f. one. And the reason I like this e.l.f. one is because it's got a metal tip to it, and so it's nice and cold, so it's really nice in the morning. Anyway, so in total, I have four. I'm gonna keep all of them. My cellar water, and it's like the only one I have, so I'll keep it. I think I need to have it in a different location, though, so I actually use it to take off my makeup. So moving to these right here, this is um, face serums. So I do have two that I'm loving right now. This is the Kate Somerville. This is like my holy grail favorite serum. I love this. And then I also am enjoying this Elemis Collagen one. I like this a lot too, but it's a little bit greasier, so I tend to use this at night. The Kate Somerville one like dries really well. So I will be keeping this snail one, but I am gonna get rid of this hydrating. Serum. I think I will be keeping all three of these. This is just, well, this is a backup of my daytime moisturizer, which is the CeraVe facial lotion. This I will be keeping too. It's the face cream. I really like this for my neck, so keeping that. And then this I think I will keep. Actually, I'm going to see if my sisters or anyone want this. Moving on to this so this one is a face toner i haven't really tried it out so i think i'm going to at least try it a little bit but my main go-to toner is this there's witch hazel which stays on my counter and then i also have a toner spray which is the same witch hazel and it's lavender so i do have two that get used but i am more just curious about other brands so that's why i'm going to keep this and try it out these two i'm I think I'm gonna get rid of a rose and cucumber water and I really like them. I love the cucumber smell. My problem is, well one, if I use any spray it's this one because it actually has, you know, like witch hazel in it and it's supposed to be a toner and witch hazel is good for acne. Now for the biggest face section and that is face masks. I have a lot of face masks. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then this is five in them, so 15. I'm for sure keeping this. I really like this kit that my mom got me. I've been using it a lot. This one, I think I've tried these golden face sheets. Let's see, how many are left? Okay, I'm gonna keep them. I'm gonna keep these, but I'm just gonna keep them out of the box so I remember to use these. But I have two left, maybe Taylor will do them with me. They're just golden glow, 24 karat gold. I'm not a huge fan of face masks, like, sheet mask so that's why i'm kind of hesitant but this part the, like the gold is interesting to me so we'll keep those okay i'm gonna get rid of this freeman black charcoal i do like it a lot but i bought this like oh gosh it says it's good for whoa it's good for three years that's awesome i just have others that i like more so we're just gonna get rid of this i think i am gonna get rid of this because this is a eight hour radiance renewal sleeping mask and this is super cool and it's actually really pricey i think i got this in a boxy charm and it was like i think this is like 60 or 70 dollars for this little thing and it's awesome but my oily skin cannot sleep in this face mask all night. Like it's way too sticky and I look like a greasy mess and it just like I can't sleep with it on. It's too much. So I will see if someone else would like that because like I said, it is a cool product. Um, so I'm kind of sad to see it go, but it's actually not the best for my skin type. I know I'm going to keep this Bliss Foaming Cleanser. It's really cool and it smells like oranges. I like this a lot. I think I'm actually going to start using this as face cleaner instead of a foaming mask because it's got more of a cleaning consistency than a mask. This is the Hydrating Bubble Mask from e.l.f. I really like this. We will keep that. I hate the way this smells. This vacuum cleaner does not smell good, but the result is good, so keep that. I like a peel-off mask every once in a while, so it's nice to just have one. This detox mask is really nice, and it's a really pretty blue color. I'm trying to think if I want to keep this pharmacy. I think I'll keep this. It's just a pharmacy bright on vitamin C mask, so I'll keep that. 
And then this one, this is on the rare occasion that I need hydration because all of these are more like purifying, detoxifying, stuff like that. Um, but I'm going to keep this one because it's a Summer Fridays jet lag mask. And this is cool. I don't use it entirely as it directs though because you're supposed to put it on and then just like wipe off excess. And you're supposed to be able to just like wear this through the day. And your girl can't do that. But I do like to use it for a little bit of hydration because a common misconception is that if you have oily skin, like most people with oily skin try to avoid moisturizing things. But sometimes your oil production is from lack of moisture. And so your body is feeling like you need to overproduce. Um, or produce more which results in overproduction. Um, there's other reasons too and like hormones and stuff like that But that is one thing so every once in a while I will like to do a hydrating mask and that's the same reason why I still use moisturizer All right, so that is it for the face stuff So now I'm going to organize this bin down at the bottom and then we're going to tackle hair and body hair cleaned up as you can see on the top we have what I was telling you about earlier my normal go-to's other uh, skincare some more skincare this is basically what I like to have on the counter and I use most day and night so we didn't talk about this much in my video this is more of my go-to stuff like my makeup eraser wipes deodorant contacts the zapper like lip stuff that I'm using at the time hair ties just all that stuff that gets used more day to day. And then down here is our nails, our nails, <laughs> my nail stuff. And then over here is all the face masks. This is just a little tin that I had left over. So I put my um, backup lip scrubs that I haven't used yet. And then here is all face washes. And then over here is like my backup moisturizer um, and some skincare that I do use, just not a ton. And then way in the back, it's dark back there, I just have my extra like real techniques and beauty sponges. Then moving to this cabinet. So this one's not super exciting. Um, most of it is just 
feminine hygiene products and then I have a spray bottle back there. I have all of my extra perfumes, stuff to wash my brushes and then my brush mat. And then over here is just random stuff like sunscreen, aloe, backup deodorant. And then we move over here. This top one just holds like my heating tools. So a uh, cheat hair dryer, bed head crimper, Conair curler, and then a cheat straightener. And then I also have my little hot mitt thing for when I travel. And then next is hair. And this is looking so much better. This is all my little like bobby pins, clips, hair ties, hair elastics, hairspray, my dry shampoo. Then we have my blow dry cream, uh, two texturizing sprays, a leave-in miracle hair oil, two hair masks, then four of these packs of hair masks, detangler, and my chi iron guard. And lastly, down here is body. So... I'm very happy with this looking a lot cleaner. So this big box is bath bombs that Taylor got me. And then I have bath scissors. Then I have this massive bath bomb, another bath bomb. I think Taylor's mom gave me those. They really like get me set for my like bath bombs, which is really, really nice. Cause those get pricey. So it's nice like when you get them as gifts here and there. And then this is the peel off mask that I'm really interested about. So it's like a body peel off mask. So we'll keep that. Then this is the bath like bubble soap. It's cream, coconut, vanilla cream. Then this is just extra face wipes. Back here I have my two. So I have this one, but in glass sitting up on my counter. And then this is when I travel, it's the same one. And then I have the Ed Hardy that matches my perfume, Bath and Body Works body scrub, some Bath and Body Works lotion. This is Seaside Cotton. This is Frosted Coconut Snowball and snowflakes and cashmere and then back here i have my bum bum cream and then i have from the body shop this blueberry one and then i also have this tiny one back here wild argan oil and then i have this three trio so it's shea coconut and almond milk and honey are those three cents so yeah i really got things sorted out pretty well up here like also just in case you are curious i won't get into too much detail but in my shower i do have lots of stuff guys it's concerning i just counted and i now have 15 shampoo and conditioners like i totally need to dwindle that down to like three of each or something but i like a lot of them and a lot of them are like sample sizes five of them are so 10 of them are full size that's still a little concerning. I have some detanglers and face washes and stuff like that. Yeah.